Alright, what's up everybody? It's uh, Dante Fido, and I'm going to show you a 2 vs 2 that I did, 2 vs 2 random, that I did with uh, Zadkiel, who is my ally. He is Red Terran, I am uh, Blue Protoss, and we're fighting uh, Doc Block, who is Purple Zerg, and Valerie, I don't remember what his name is. Uh, who is Teal Protoss? So this is uh, this is a placement match, and if you ever get placed with me, and it's a random, immediately the first thing I'm gonna ask you is what's the plan? Because I've in the beta, I was in a lot of games where where I would run a two versus two, and we wouldn't say anything the entire time. We had no communication at all. Very rarely you win if you don't have communication. It's, this game is a huge part of that. So, talking to Zatiel, he says he's going to Reaper Rush uh, the, to the Protoss, which is fine with me because Reaper Rush works great against Protoss. Um, I told him I'm going to do the four gate strategy, which is basically what I always do when I'm Protoss. Um, unless that doesn't work, and then I'll usually tech up the voids or something like that. Depends on the situation. I had one game that was pretty awesome where I had to... I did a... Vo I did a... 48 rush and it didn't work and I teched up and I hit this guy with a combination of um, Void Rays, Dart Templars, Stalkers, Colossus, and two motherships. And that's how I beat that guy. That was that was a pretty fun game. It took an hour and twelve minutes. It's one of the more longer epic games. But anyway, so here we go. I've got the uh the tabs all open and stuff. You can see the workers. Uh, wow. He's, uh... Zatiel's already got one Reaper. He's gonna send that in there to do some damage. That was pretty fast. I've already got one Zealot. Uh, Purple's got three Overlords, 11 workers. I've got... Um, I think that's 10 workers. Teal's got eight... 10 workers too. And it looks like uh, Zadkiel's got 12 workers. So just uh, just that right there, that little... Like if you can pull like that many drones away and you have that much time where they're not gathering resources, that alone is like a, a victory in itself that you can do that. So a Reaper Rush is really pretty effective. I hate it. Quite frankly, I never, I never like build my base to defend for it, and it usually sometimes it'll cost me the game. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Reaper Rush, but in this case, I'll uh, I'll take it because it got us the win. So you can see that there isn't really anything Protoss can do against the Reaper Rush until they tech up the stalkers. Once you get that boost, you can just basically kite anything around. Until you beat it. Like I saw, I saw one game where uh, these Reapers, three Reapers, killed nine Zealots just by like tagging them around the outside of this guy's base. And then by then he had like four more Reapers that were at his base, and he sent them in. He just took his dude out with nothing but Reapers. That there's another huge one right there. That dude is trying to use all of his probes to take out that Reaper with who's got the. Uh, the boost upgrade, that's just a total waste of time. <laughs> there's no way you're going to take him out with that. So, right there, there's a couple seconds where he's not getting any resources at all. And the Zerd manages to come in and take him out. But he's got two more Reapers, so he's going to send those in. Or maybe just keep them right there. Teal's pretty much got... doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's kind of like... freaking out right now. And I've already got my four, my four gates ready. So, I'm warping in my stalkers. Uh, red's over there expanding. Purple's got a... Purple's ready for the Reaper Rush. He's got a pretty good defense right there. Teal... You can see what's wrong with Teal pretty easy. And you'll... You'll really see it what the... Uh, once I go in and attack, it's... A very... A very amateur Protoss mistake. That you don't want to do. Especially when you're spending all your forces on uh, cannons and not 
like actual units. Okay. Teal has one Z lot. I have one Z lot and eight stalkers. Teal's got, or Red's got seven Reapers and one Marauder. Now I have 12 Stalkers, which is my standard attack force. It's, I'll do the 4 day and then I'll build 12 Stalkers, and usually by then, if you... And the time it takes me to do that, I can mostly kill anybody who with 12 Stalkers. So I'm telling him, okay, well, I'm hitting this dude. Go use your Reapers and go harass the Zerg guy again, so we can take him. So now we're going to go hit Teal. He's got nothing. Move that tab out of the way now. See, he's got the cannon, but he's only got one pylon there. And all of his shit just gets shut down. Very big amateur Protoss mistake. You don't want to do that. Especially around your cannon. You want to have at least two or three pylons. That way they can last. So now he's basically got nothing on his base or outside his expansion guard. And that's where he spent most of his resources too, so... So, now me and Red are just tearing this guy apart. I'm gonna move into his base. Like, who? Yeah. Yeah, I blinked in there, that was a bad idea. He's got four cannons, though. Five cannons. Once again, there's the weakness. Five cannons, but only one pylon. So, now he has zero cannons. Can't do that. Let me try and run his probes out. Here comes Zerg. Or, yeah, the Zerg player to try and back. But I've got Blink. Thank you. None of the Reapers are just going to take all this guy down. That pretty much takes care of, uh, takes care of Teal. We got nothing left now. And there I am warping in more stalkers. And I decided to speed up the video because this was actually a pretty long match. It took us around a half hour. Well, it took a half hour recording it because it lowered the frame rate to crap, so. I'm speeding the video up to make this, uh. Make this go by faster. And here's a good thing about this map is dropping into your opponent's back door right there. <laughs> that sounded funny. So he got some, some defenses right there, but it's nothing that's gonna last. pick up all of those towers. And then he brought in all of those hydrolytes. And at first I was like, holy shit, I'm dead. That was a big try, but I don't think he did. And then all the fucking red comes in with siege tanks and marauder. And I was like, oh hell yeah. Go red. I still thought, I honestly thought all he was doing was building reapers this entire game. Apparently not. Good for him. I don't even... I won't even mate stalkers into my opponent. It has gotten me out of so many tight situations before. Especially with rushing. Like if you're going... If you're... If you're going against Terran... Uh, being able to just run up someone's ramp and then just blink straight past all of their... Their, their wall of their barracks and... Um, their barracks and supply depots, like straight into their base. is really fucking handy. It's good for the Terran against that for Russian. It's good against Protoss for for their Z lots. Once again, he made one tent. He made four turrets and one pylon. Figure that I would have learned by now. Apparently not. And there I am telling this dude GG because that was that was a really smooth game. We just dominated these guys.
I don't tell him right there. That's my third one in a row. Huh. These dudes pop like balloons. It's pretty funny. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So. There's the GG's. They both left. We're done.